Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. The solar energy revolution has begun. With grid parity in sight and the price of solar plummeting from a high of $77 a watt in 1977 to just 70 cents a watt today, the costs are now so low it's positioned to become the most important new source of electricity by 2030. I was standing in the middle of 624 solar modules when I was told that the system would produce electricity at about 11 cents a kilowatt hour. Hi, my name is Clifton Loftog with Great Canadian Solar. We're on the roof of a building that's going to be home to Environment Canada. Uh, they will be going for LEED Gold certification. As part of that, uh, their portion of their electricity usage will be uh, created from a solar photovoltaic system that we're installing here. It's 153 kilowatts. It will produce around 180 megawatt hours a year or enough to offset approximately 25 to 30 homes a year here in Alberta. With the recent drop in, uh, in equipment costs, we can do systems now that the electricity will be produced at about 11 cents a kilowatt hour over the next 25 years. The cost of solar has come down 100 fold. Gordon Howell is an engineer and a solar energy expert who confirms that solar is taking off. It is indeed. Oh my goodness, I, it's amazing how much work I have this year, even compared to last year, which is a record compared to the year before. Gordon Howell confirms that even with a modest sized solar system, it's possible to generate electricity at a competitive price. Typically, it's about 11 cents a kilowatt hour. There's all sorts of factors that come into that, but that's typically the, the price. The fun thing is, is that's the price now that extends for the life of the project including whatever risks of maintenance that are in there. That's all built into the price. Then after you have reached the end of your economic evaluation period, say 25 years, then that means that you've paid off the system and the price of electricity beyond that is free. 11 cents? I should be, I, I'm, I should be shocked with that, shouldn't I? Yes, you should be shocked because it used to be 40 or 50 or 60 cents and it has come down so remarkably for a number of reasons that now we have reached price parity on the retail side in Alberta. Alberta isn't a solar hotspot, but the industry is growing fast. Well, in Alberta, over the last three years or so, it's grown at about 78% a year, according to the statistics that the Alberta government has released. That's a 78% growth rate for each of the last three years. So how is solar doing across Canada? It's growing, for the last 10 years, it's grown at 115% per year. That's huge, huge, huge growth rates. Back to Environment Canada's Eastgate complex and the 153 kilowatt system installed there, architect Shafraz Kaba needed to produce electricity on site and solar was an order of magnitude cheaper than cogeneration with natural gas. Part of it was uh, driven by economics as this is a developer-led project. Uh, we looked at the life cycle costs of PV, the operating costs of the buildings, the capital costs of the, the actual array and modules and installation, and that really uh, drove uh, the choice uh, because there is other options out there like cogeneration. With the price of solar dropping so far and so fast, we asked Gordon Howe how much it would cost to get a solar system today in Alberta. For 10 kilowatts, for example, a system would cost you in the order of $28,000 to $30,000. And uh, if you're a large user of electricity, it would generate all your own electricity for your house. If, it's a, if you're a, a wise user of electricity, then you could go with a much smaller system that would, say, cost you in the order of $20,000, generate all your electricity for an average homeowner, and uh, the payback would be in the order of, say, 15-ish years or so, and after that, the electricity is free. Okay, so I can get involved with solar much more affordably than in the past. We asked Shafraz Kaba what he thinks it will take to really help solar take off in Alberta. The easier uh, the utility companies make it to grid tie with less paperwork and red tape, the easier um, even local governments are um, and potentially, uh, like we've seen elsewhere, uh, feed-in tariffs or other incentives to sort of bring solar into our grids would be really, really helpful. To learn more about the solar revolution, visit greenenergyfutures.ca. 
There you'll find photos, a blog, and our podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you very much for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.